Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and I am watching Tubemint. In this video, I am going to show you how you can download and install WordPress 6.2.4 or any WordPress with WPCLI. So you don't need to go manually and download it, unzip it and then install it. So now if you have WPCLI installed, which is very simple, simply go ahead and download it and install it i i might have a video on my channel which you can watch and install wpcli with now this is windows 10 so you should uh familiar with the command prompt and how it works okay so i already have wpcli installed you can see wpcli version so i've got 2.7.1 is fast and better so now pre, uh, prerequisites you must have your XAMPP or any similar package installed that runs your web server that is in my case Apache and a database MySQL or MariaDB so this is the MariaDB as you might already know now let's go ahead and check so you can see uh, I got my 6.2 that was manually downloaded and installed but since I already have this CLI installed now I can go ahead and use CLI which is way better so now what you need to do you simply go ahead and open your terminal in terminal sorry which is command home in here so I'm going to say WP6 and enter into this WP6 without the spaces and now I can run the command so to download the, the WordPress you simply say WP core and say download run the command let's run it now you should go ahead and download it uh, the default is basically english and this is going to be using cached file i already have tried it so there is a cached file in my users profile which is basically it's trying to access and unzip it from so once it is done you should see some hashing going on which is to verify yes I have it downloaded so this is where it is you can see it is basically downloading things here but nothing is being displayed here so okay seems to be we should show something else uh, okay success what was downloaded so I was using 2.4 uh, CLI 2.4 and it was showing something else now it says success which is great now the other thing you might you know I'll show you a few more commands that you can use with WCLI so for la, like this one you can say WCLI post its list so it is going to list all the available posts and so i must have installed it first of all it it fetches all the data from uh, database so you must have database connection which only happens when you install uh, wordpress so first i need to go ahead and create one database and I'm going to name it WP6 to general CLI UTF 8 MB4 just got created you can see here right there I can set this here local host WP622 and here is the installation script yes I have everything 
So this makes my job really easy. WPCLI. Then WP. Okay, now close. I missed something. So database name is uh, WP six two two. User name is removed. There is no password, so that's okay. Guys, run the installation. And here we have. Oh, I had to type this WP CLI here, and I really forgot. CLI password is going to be the CLI. Only password WP CLI at. This is just a demo. So, okay, now you can. So, you can see this is so easy and simple. Welcome to WCLI. And this is what you do. So, you got everything. You have the 2013 block based theme here now let's go ahead and list all the post types <coughs> we have rerun it so wp post types so it shows me all the post types available on this new installation new installation so yep then let's see what else we have so you can list all the possible all the possible commands available with WP just by running WP. So you can run cache here, cap. So basic cap is for user management comment to manage the comments. Core that we just used downloads, installs, updates, manages what the installation. Cron is cron db perform basic database operations using credentials in WP config. So it connects embed help i etn imports content to given wxs okay. languages available maintenance for media uh, you can use scaffold to generate code for post types so if let's say you have to create a plugin or plugin to generate it Custom post type you can use scaffold, sun me plugins and child theme, etc. Even a new theme based on uh, underscores. Underscores, where is that? Underscores, I don't see that. Okay, and you can list all the sidebars, site information if you are using multi site. Super admin taxonomy retrieves only taxonomy registered. So, guys, this is completely big list of the uh, commands that you can use, but I preferably use uh, scaffold so far. Scaffold terms, names, uh, users. Transient, if you want to make the transients, let's, let's run it. So, just one command, okay? Clear it. So, let's say you want to get on the post, list. List. There, there isn't any. Okay, so there's a one post you can see here. Similarly, you can let's see if you have sample page. This should be okay. Page is not available. So, post is delegated default. Uh, you can create post, right? So, we are not going to do the you can just type post in there. 
if you don't want the command so you create delete edit exist generate generate some posts okay so let's generate posts okay so generated some posts see now i can go ahead and say it will be this oh oh we got 100 posts you can see and now let me quickly check how many posts so 100 posts that is cool with nothing in it you can see great now okay there's no common nothing in it i think they should work with it okay so it got published uh wp plugins do you list do you plugins plugin uh so activate art so we are interested in listing it so we do we can delete these are all the options that you can use with the plugin so let's say you have to activate you will say plugin activate plugin name or you can say all so it will activate all so, Plugin path, plugin search status. Let's say very common lot of people in the list. In the list. Do you listen? Okay. Active and active. It gives you the status. Was it the case? Yes. So awesome. The other stuff people only use WPC and I saw it basically. Scaffold and then whatever you want to scaffold. So you can scaffold a block, child theme, plugin is very common. Uh, plugin test, post time is also common. Taxonomy, theme test, underscore. So if you just say underscores, uh, you'll have to give a slug, basically the name of the theme that you want to create, a theme based on underscores. If you don't know what is underscores, what underscore talking in here it is I've started a generator basically powered by all of that. These are all the contributors. Great stuff. Okay. So these are all the most common commands and you can use it you can also get the examples of the commands that are available at wpcli.org wp-cli.org and put commands okay it takes you back to the wordpress developer which is basically trying to keep everything in one umbrella you can go to developers and then go to WPCLI. it is going to be integrated in basically wordpress or uh, why because but this is for developers you understand finds installation and file systems options server so it it runs the servers if you want sidebar and you get on the list if you click on any of these for example the theme it gives you options so it you see it explains everything anyways you can simply type what in here help if you want the details in uh, even more than that per, 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 per page <laughs> So you can see everything is here. More than that, right? 
so guys cool stuff uh, if you have any questions suggestion or would like to connect and master wpcli you can always reach me at this email thank you for watching